Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you need to enter a partial payment on an invoice, you follow the same initial steps as when receiving a full payment to open the Receive Payment window. Either click the Create icon and select Receive Payment, or you can also choose a customer from the Customers page by simply clicking the Customers link in the navigation bar. Then you will choose the customer you are receiving payment from within the list and click the Receive Payment link in the Action column. After you've selected the customer and the invoice to which the customer is submitting a partial payment, simply select the payment method and enter the partial payment amount that you have received into the Amount Received field. When you are finished, select a Save option and close the window. The payment will be applied to the invoice and entered into the system. When you later select the same customer again within the Receive Payment window, you can see the original amount of the invoice shown within the Original Amount column and the remaining balance of the invoice left to pay shown in the Open Balance column. Opening the invoice, you will see that the payment has been applied as there is now an Amount Received field containing the amount of the payment and a new Balance Due field. The amount received will also be reflected within your customer list by a new payment entry. However, the invoice will still display the full original amount due when shown within any list. While the original amount of the invoice will appear in your lists, you can also see the current balances on invoices by running the Customer Balance Detail Report. This report will list all of the customers that have an open balance. To run this report, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. At the top of the page is a Go to Report search field. Click in the field to open a drop-down list and select or type the Customer Balance Detail. The report will automatically generate once you select it from the list. In this report you will see a list of transactions that are separated into columns. The column headings for the basic report are Date, Transaction Type, Number, Location, Due Date, Amount, Open Balance, and Balance. The fields you want to focus on when checking for partial payments are the Amount and Open Balance. The Amount column lists the original amount of the transaction, and the Open Balance column lists the amount still owed on the transaction. As with any report, you can also customize this report to suit your individual needs by simply clicking the Customize button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.